Here's the 1954 version of Godzilla that I made. I, I plan to make this for my show. I wanted to make a, like a prototype or a model before I, uh, to figure out what I need to do in order to make it for the show and then break it down to the clay balls and then make it an easy sculpture for anyone to do. But I just wanted to show you the incredible amount of detail that's on this sculpture. It, uh, I really enjoyed doing the sculpture. I had always wanted to do Godzilla as a kid, but I didn't really understand all the things that I do that, the things that I understand now, I, I can do a much better job than I would have been able to do when I was a kid. So here's the, look at the incredible detail on the hands. You got the head, the teeth. I use the dental tools to make the, um, for the teeth and the mouth. But then I'll just I'll rotate these around so you can see the detail. I try to copy various pictures that I had found. And sometimes it's hard to copy some of those pictures because the, um, with well, some of the, the pictures, it's they're, they're dark. So I, I had to improvise on some of the things that I did. But I want to show you like all the spines on the back. How cool those, those are. Those are those are easy to make. Once I, I can break them down and show you. And you make them in small steps. And uh, they turn out really nice. But I just wanted to show you what the 1954 version of Godzilla looked like. And what I'd like to do for my upcoming show. In, uh, you know, so then we'll videotape this. I'll spin them around again. So you can see them. I want to get a really close in view of the head again. See his face. And then you get the, um, let me see if I can, I'll pick him up and we can, I'm filming him on my phone. So I'm, that's uh, what he looks like. And those spines in the back, they're really cool. They, they had a lot of good effects. And I'll just pull back now. And we'll just get him. Yeah, he is.